Hello, esteemed colleagues and medical professionals. Today, we're diving into a topic that demands our immediate attention, sepsis. As doctors on the front line, understanding and recognizing the signs of sepsis can be the difference between life and death for our patients. So, let's equip ourselves with vital knowledge. If you find this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your fellow healthcare providers. Let's get started. Before we explore sepsis, let's understand its precursor, Systemic Inflammatory Response Syndrome or SIRS. SIRS is the body's systemic response to various insults, such as infection, trauma, or inflammation. It is diagnosed when two or more criteria are met, including fever, rapid heart rate, increased respiratory rate, abnormal white blood cell count, or altered mental status. Sepsis occurs when the body's response to infection triggers a widespread inflammatory reaction. This response can lead to organ dysfunction and, in severe cases, multiple organ failure. Sepsis is a medical emergency, and its early identification is vital for better patient outcomes. When sepsis progresses to a life-threatening stage with profound hypotension and inadequate tissue perfusion, it becomes septic shock. This condition requires immediate and aggressive interventions to stabilize the patient's condition. As medical professionals, we must be vigilant in recognizing sepsis early. Look out for symptoms such as high fever, severe chills, rapid breathing, a significantly elevated heart rate, altered mental status, low blood pressure, and signs of organ dysfunction like decreased urine output. In pediatric patients, observe for unusual irritability, lethargy, or a decrease in oral intake. To assess a patient's condition, Frequent monitoring of vital signs is essential. This includes measuring body temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and oxygen saturation. Prompt and accurate assessments can aid in the timely detection of sepsis. The Quick Sequential Organ Failure Assessment, XOFA, score is a simple tool to estimate sepsis-related mortality risk. It consists of three criteria, altered mental status, low blood pressure, and rapid respiratory rate. A XOFA score of 2 or more indicates a higher risk of mortality and should trigger a rapid response. When sepsis is suspected, swift action is critical. The Sepsis 6 bundle outlines six essential interventions to be initiated within the first hour of identification. These include administering high-flow oxygen, administering broad-spectrum antibiotics, fluid resuscitation, obtaining blood cultures, measuring serum lactate levels, and closely monitoring urine output. Once sepsis is diagnosed, a multidisciplinary approach is vital for effective treatment. Prompt administration of appropriate antibiotics guided by blood culture results is paramount. Fluid resuscitation helps maintain blood pressure and organ perfusion. In severe cases, vasopressors may be required to support blood pressure. Continuous monitoring of vital signs and organ function ensures timely adjustments to the treatment plan. By being well-informed and proactive in our approach to sepsis, we can save more lives and prevent needless suffering. Early recognition, rapid response, and evidence-based interventions are our strongest tools against this silent killer. If you found this video valuable, please like, subscribe, and share it with your colleagues to spread awareness. Let's continue our mission to conquer sepsis and provide the best care for our patients. Thank you for watching.